Vernon Bower with uh, Robert Brown were based in New South Wales for a long time because Matthew Flinders uh, had to go back to Europe to get a new ship. The investigator was condemned in Sydney Harbour. Very unfortunately, on his way to Europe, he um, fell foul of the French and was imprisoned until 1810. Fernand Bauer and Robert Brown knew nothing about this, and so they were more or less stranded in Sydney. But they made many excursions in the Sydney Basin. And one of the most um, beautiful plants which uh, Bauer drew during this period was the Gymea lily, which they found at George's River. Um, it would appear that uh, he can't have understood the structure of it very well, though, because the head of flowers is made to look far more attractive than it is uh, in the wild. This shows uh, Bauer was not uh, averse to enhancing some of the images um, because of his background with um, perhaps a horticultural drawings that he was used to when he was uh, a schoolboy in, in Austria and in Czechoslovakia. He rather romanticised, shall we say, some of our Australian plants. And this is very marked in this one where a large number of flowers are shown uh, open on the head of the Gymea lily. This image of the Gymea lily was used in Fernand Bauer's only private publication. After he returned to Vienna, he took his pencil sketches with him and he worked some of these up into watercolours. And he was interested, of course, in sails. So he made some of the plants look rather more um, ebullient than they truly are. The publication was given a Latin name, Illustrationes Florae Novae Hollandiae, illustrations of the plants of uh, New Holland or Australia. And it came out in a series of fascicles, the first few before he left London to go back to Vienna and the last few when he got there. But there were only four fascicles of these and it was not a financial success. Nevertheless, he not only sketched them in the field, uh, made the watercolors, he then made the engravings, and from the engravings he coloured them and he distributed them himself. So right from um, collecting them and drawing them in the field, right the way up to selling his images, it was all Ferdinand Bauer.